Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episodes 13 and 14 of Knowing To You Are The Shelf, so let's go ahead and get started with episode 13 in 3, 2, 1, go. How can she calm down with what happened? It's kind of better that I'm watching this first so I can go ahead and get my anger and frustration out for another series that I was trying to watch, but mm, this freaking love chain of and other delusions didn't want to freaking download for me. I mean, come on, they, like, he ain't just gonna die like this. There's gotta be a way for him to come back to life after this. He's gonna be reincarnated or something. Well, I kind of figured that, but I mean, mm. but he's her friend. He's you. That just hurt. Oh my god. I mean, for her to say that, yes, I mean, finally, that's been a long time coming for myself, ever since he's kind of really had the conversation we got to say about it, but for Haruka to say something, but it's just like the icing on the cake, like, oh my god, I mean, mm. I'm just scared to find out what the hell is, <clears throat> excuse me, gonna happen in today's episode. I mean, is you really gonna let himself die? Like, are we really gonna let that happen? I mean, seriously, we gonna let him die just so our, you know, current you, present you, is able to save how to say? I don't know. I mean, there. <laughs> I don't know. Mmm. <laughs> Yeah, because he dead now. No, I ain't killing him, no matter what. I, like, I, I'm still shocked about that, but, like, I wasn't expecting it at the same time. I was thinking he was going to be fine. And so now she thinks... Excuse me. Uh, I just killed him. But no... Oh! So that's what must happen. Well, no, because that was after he got attacked. 
does he not remember anything? Yeah. Oh, oh my God. What? Wait. What? What? Hold on now. I mean, yeah, even a teacher can't really give you an answer about that. It's really up to you at the end of the day. <laughs> Excuse me? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, because I mean, he's lost all his memories. Well, not anymore. He's lost all his memories. So you think he can't do his powers anymore? I mean, come on now. Think about X Men or some ish. You know when somebody forgets their memories? How they going to do, <laughs> do their damn powers? Or I'd be like. It's just a long story. <laughs> so you're basically telling me the attack that happened on him last week made him lose his memory. Oh, he did.
बस कुछ बना है यहाँ Yeah, but then where are you going to get that? Does that mean sacrificing yourselves? This isn't a good idea, but you know, she gonna go anyway, right? Yeah, because they divorced, and he lives in Tokyo, right? But, I mean, hold on. Because he called in the last episode, so, I mean, he's got to be coming to visit soon. How about you? So fucking hard-headed. Like, well, like deep, deep into the wood? I mean, well, no, uh, that's woods on one side and plains on the other. Um, of course, she would be speeding. Yeah, because they're trying to ditch you. Oh my god. No, no the cows! No cows just trying to eat. Have a normal day. Oh my god. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh my god, you're going to damage the crap out of your car too late. Great. Good job. Bullshit. 
Now you're stuck with cows and cow manure. Oh, <laughs> couldn't be me. That curl, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there she comes. See, I wish we could just sit and talk and say, hey, this is a big misunderstanding, but of course, like, no one's going to understand that ish. You're not gonna fight her, are you? Oh my god. Mm -hmm. That's because I tell you guys doesn't have memories. condition you're probably gonna die yes but he lost his memory oh my god Question, how long is this gonna take? I mean, you know. We got like seven minutes left in this episode and who knows what the heck could happen in them seven minutes. Technically six, but you know, who's counting? Because he lost his memories, Baka. I mean, neither are you. You have the same powers. Y'all really gonna be coming out to be like that? I mean, I was just starting to like him. <laughs> I mean, he was a douche, but he nice now. She really just fucking killed him. What are you serious?
Hey, she escaped him. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. He's gonna, like, he's got reborn, reincarnated, you know, got his life back, whatever. But in the final few episodes, he's gonna die and he's gonna stay dead. So that that future version of him can finally be with his friends, specifically Harikar. I wasn't expecting to go down this episode to go down the way it went. Honestly, like if you would have told me like two, three weeks ago that <laughs> Anthony <laughs> would lose his memories and be good, same thing with Toby. I would probably look at you like you were nuts. Like I, I probably would have been like, no, like <laughs> what are you talking about? Like. Mm -mm. Now. But I mean, it, it's a it's weird now that he has no memories, and it's like the biggest thing is I'm wondering. Even though I don't want it to happen, is it possible for him to get his memories back? Maybe like later on into the second half of this show, like because I mean we still got a long way to go before we're done with it. But from what it seems, I don't know. It, it could be possible, but at the end of the day, I don't really know. I'm just someone who's just, like, watching the series and don't even know ish. <laughs> and, like I said, it could happen, but I think if it does, it'll probably happen towards the end of the series. Um, I'm glad Cutis is okay. But this is still, he's gonna act out. Still, his final mission of protecting Haruka until he dies, and then when he finally dies, he'll be able to reunite with his future friend Izumi and Haruka and be with them. And then eventually when I, future self, and Watch Your Face, future self, dies as well, they'll all be together again. Really? We're gonna fight over her? Not even fight, argue over her.
about her mom and dad. I mean, because it would make sense. Like, because the biggest thing I was expecting going into 13 and 14 was her parents, you know, eventually having a talk. Whether it is her, like, in the future or really in the current timeline now, the present, or in the past. But it's going to be interesting for her to see her parents. I'm guessing if that's what it's going to be. But yeah, I don't really know until I'm going to watch the next episode. But yeah, go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 14. Okay, episode 14 in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, it's so early in the morning. Dude, that is an old ass telephone. No, you traveled back in time, didn't you? No. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Mm okay. What? No? Um... She had to because the cat and the dog in present day are older and that cat is younger. Yep. Or am I? I, I, I don't know. Oh God. This is why I hate time traveling episodes. <laughs> because <laughs> it's so hard to figure out for at least a couple of minutes. Like, but you're sitting here and you're overthinking it sometimes, but it's just like, mm. and sometimes not all time travel shows and episodes are good. I'm just going to say that now, except like Science Gate. I mean, I think that's like probably the best time travel anime that I've seen. Um, but using it in like some scientific live action shows or even in a movie, it gets way too much. Like, I mean, this show, like I've said it once and I'll say it again, this show in a nutshell is a Doctor Who episode, honestly. But it's like, <laughs> it's a long movie of Doctor Who. Except there's no doctor, there's no TARDIS. There, like, oh, like look, at, look at the cat! The cat is older! The dog is older! I don't know. <laughs> but you telling me that that phone exists and got a flip phone. There is no way. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> Who still keeps an old phone under his bedroom? But that phone is giving her a sign about her dad. Did you answer it though? Exactly. <laughs> oh. 
吗？It's so weird to see them in regular clothes. Wait, 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 hold on. What about Kanesu? Where's Kanesu gonna say? <laughs> Speaking of which. Okay. Oh my god, you! Hell, I wish I could type that stuff like that. Like, can you imagine? Oh my god. Oh my god, the jealousy is written all over your face. This child, oh my god. Right? Oh my god. You you can't spring on her at a random time. Yeah, let's go to her. Let's let's run away. He don't like him. He don't like himself. He's jealous of himself. How can you be jealous of yourself? And it's because of the fact that she kind of likes him more than you. Man, oh my god. Can't live with him, can't live with him. I know, I mean, come on. Be a strong ass boy, a man, and just say how you feel. Hey, Kitty. You're the one calling her, though. I mean, 
only guess when your parents had a fight for the first time. Yeah, she went to the store, all right. But then, okay, hold on. Wait. What means? Why is she angry? I mean, why is he angry at her? What? Uh. Okay, and this time when you answer, don't say dad. Say something else. She just gonna relive this over and over again? I'm talking, thinking, and talking. You have to protect her. Come here, Cody. <laughs> Boy, I, I just, oh, God. Does. Hold on, Cody. I got it. Most guys think us girls are a pain in the beginning. And some girls think the same way about guys. <laughs> but you fell for her.
Damn, you just want to leave him up there like that? I mean, that's a little messed up, though. I mean, he can get down, but still. There's got to be a reason why she's saying this on endless repeat. Maybe she needs to stop her dad, like grab his hand or something. Thanks for right back again. He has to, just to get her nasty. But they'll never be able to patch things up because they're not together, not even now. Are you next? Yeah. <laughs> what is the type supposed to look like?
Well, no, this. Yeah. So do you really want to do that? Not with this situation, you can't. Because it seems like more, when it's her own timeline and with her parents and stuff, she can't. But with others, it's a possibility she can. It was nice for her to see her parents, though. Like, she got there before everything bad happened. Aww. He's so cute. Cute, isn't now? Oh my god, I love him. Look at the cat! No. <laughs> no. Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if her parents get together again by the end of the series. See, this is like last time all over again. Don't answer that phone. You can't show me anything, Mom, until after I'm done. Uh, I'm not done yet. Come back in like two minutes. Well, dang. I'm the mama, not your child. I know, but come back in like two Hold minutes. Me like that. Who is you? We <laughs> about to get put out. We can be like, that's rap on, on whatever anime this is. I know, Cody. Come on, Cody. We leave. Come on, Cody. Come on, Cody. Come on, Cody. I, I don't even know what to say about them last few minutes, but okay. Was that her herself talking to herself? Her future self talking to her younger fashion day self? I don't know. I mean, we're going on until next week. <laughs> it's just still, it's so weird to see Toby and Anthony on the side of good. Like, ugh, I, I don't know. You know how, like, sometimes, like, you watch something and you see someone go from bad to good or good to bad. And, like, well, typically when they see a bad guy to go into a good guy, like, my stomach feels weird. And I'm just like, I, I don't know. I'm like, because... Something could happen in your memories could come back. I'm not just saying it will, but it could. You never really truly know. But I mean, it was a good episode. I like the fact that we got to see her parents, you know, happy in the past before everything happened. It's nice.
figures they would run into them. Hmm. See, I was thinking like Haruka was possibly going to introduce her dad to Kazu, Atari, and Toby, but I don't think that's going to happen. I mean, mainly he is going to be asking her like, why she's possibly acting a certain type of way because you know parents i mean yes they have to worry about their good their kids like that but i don't really know i mean anything could literally happen next week but but the fact is that the guy and the woman from that group found kind of do something's about to go down next week and honestly i don't think it's really gonna be good it's gonna be really really bad possibly but we ain't really gonna know until next week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes 13 and 14 of Knowing to Your Other Self. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Tuesday for everybody else for episodes 15 and 16. Bye, guys.